Hello guys, how are you? Good evening, I hope you are fine and everything is good. How's it going? Tell me, my lovely students, love you so much. Hello guys, hello the Jane, hello Sidra. Um, yeah, hello uh, Abdul Hamid, hello Manar. Um, hello Noor, I'm, I'm pretty good, thank you very much. I'm fine, thank you for that. Uh, how about you? Uh, finally, yes, finally I managed to enter the session. I don't know, maybe there was like a problem in the server. So that's why I was like, um, I was late. Okay, so, um, yeah, so students maybe are still arriving. So today's session, guys, is number 22. And uh, we're going to start with the reading section. If you remember the last time we finished the lessoning parts one and two. Uh, but now, like, there is a question. Um, have you, uh, do we have anyone here who um, hasn't, like, attended C, uh, C4 or the last session? في حدا هون من بيناتكم لا ما حضر المحاضرة الماضية ال session C4 بالنسبة للlessening part one and two okay فاضل رواد السين ممكن هلا ما في مشكلة ما بيأثر لأنه رح نبلش اليوم بال reading text بهون منفصل عن الشيء اللي أخذنا المرة الماضية okay رح نحاول نعوض ال listening part هلا هن كتير سهلين ما فيهم شيء يعني هن just vocabulary and meanings لكن نحاول بكرة نعمل شيء تعويض أو يعني أوكي بالأوقات بالأيام اللي ما في عنا دروس يعني مو أحد لا ده خميس أوكي فممكن بكرة مثلا أو رح نشوف كيف بخبركم أنا أوكي بس الله خلينا نبلش بال reading لأنه منفصل عن uh, the the, re the the listening part, okay? So no problem, yani not everyone. But I'm embarrassed that no, um, embarrassed to see that no, I have to come to the house at the house at the house, and and we're going to have to come to the house at the house at لا هلا فاضي ما في داعي تحضر وقف رح نحن نعمل وحده يعني انا على حالتين لازم اعطي محاضره اوكي يعني يعني على حالتين انا لازم اعطي محاضره اونلاين حصرا فخلص ليش تحضر وقف اذا فيكم تحضر اون يعني اثبت بس بوينت يعني انا على حالتين اعطي يعني بس بوينت uh, uh, hey, Fikra. Okay, so today's lesson is about the reading section, and um, actually, it's um, the, the, the topic today is very interesting. Uh, the topic of today's session is very interesting because you remember we're talking about families, and um, let's say um, the relationships between families and how we live. Uh, together as a family. So um, let's let's go to the to the book. Um, um, just one minute. We have a lot of discussions to have. Um, if we go to this one, but before this, yes, let me just go to you. Okay, you remember the the title. Um, uh, the the title of. Um, the title of chapter five, which is home. Uh, we are talking about um, uh, families. We have a mother, father, and children. So this is the title of chapter five. And uh, now we're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna go to the to the reading text. Maybe it's it's talking about the same thing. Um, so let's go uh, to the reading and find. Um, discuss some of the points. Um, okay, guys. Now, if we come to the reading part, <coughs> so we saw this section. As you know, I told you guys, we have before you read section, read, and after you read sections. And uh, before you read section is like an introduction. I told you, it's like an introduction. Uh, they introduce us to the topic of the reading material. They give us some information, um, 
some ideas to discuss before we go to the reading text. But, but of course, it's like related. It's closely related to the main idea of the text. That's why it's like an introduction here. So as an introduction, guys, let us discuss uh, the let us discuss the, the, the questions here we have. Of course, you have to look at the pictures. Um, I ask, so if you look at the first question, guys, if you look at the first question, where and when, uh, okay, where and when, does each scene take place? So if you can see here we have picture number one and here we have uh, picture number two. Here we have uh, picture number three and here we have picture number four. Okay, so um, we have um, four pictures and now we're going to answer the questions above. So if you go uh, to the first uh, question, Yeah, if you go to the first question, uh, when and when does each scene take place? Where and when does each scene take place and what are the people doing? So let's uh, go to picture number one. Let's try to discuss picture number one. So what can you see in front of you guys for picture number one? Tell me where and when uh, this scene takes place, and what uh, what they are doing. Yes, Gina, uh, welcoming. Okay, so they they welcome each other. Do you think that this is when they want to leave house, they want to leave home, or uh, they are coming back home? I don't think it's in the street, maybe because here you have we have like a house, we have a door. Um, they are in the house of the family. Here we are talking about picture number one, sorry. Um, yes, um, in front of the door. Yeah, Abdul Hamid. So maybe they are leaving the house. Maybe they are leaving the house, or maybe they are coming back. But we don't know. Maybe they are leaving because you see they have their um, suitcases. Um, so um, yes, so they want to leave house. Um, okay, their house. No, now, what are they doing? What are they doing? Yes, because of the bags, the Jane, exactly. That's why uh, going to work, good. But what are, what are they doing? Yes, so here they are trying, or not trying, they are kissing each other because they want to leave. And um, each one of them, for example, has a job. Um, so they are kissing each other. So maybe they are a, a couple, uh, married people. They are married people, and uh, they kiss each other. Good. Uh, so this is what uh, these uh, uh, two people are doing. So we have a woman and a man. Okay, a uh, woman and a woman and a man leaving the house. So maybe uh, leaving the house for a for a job, or um, uh, to go somewhere else, for example. And but maybe they are uh, going for a job because you see they are kissing each other. So it means they won't, they will not go together. So each one has a different job. So they will separate. Okay. That's the point. So if we go to picture number two, guys, now, uh, what, what do we have in picture number two? Who can tell me? Yes, now here, picture number two, what do we have? Yes, uh, the family. Uh, yes, so that uh, sits in the living room. Good, excellent. Um, so we have a big family uh, sitting in the living room, and yes, Rawa, 
Um, so this is the place, this is the living room, uh, the setting room. Meeting in holiday in the house, in the grandmother's house, mother's house. And it's not necessary, I mean, a holiday, but maybe, yes, good. Uh, they, they are living together, maybe, and they are meeting in, 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 yeah, in the grandmother's house or grandfather's house. Um, okay. So try to tell me what are they doing. Try to tell me what are they doing. What are these people uh, doing? For example, look at uh, the first one, this, this woman. This is the grandmother. This is the grandmother. So now, what is she doing? Who can tell me? The grandmother. Yes, who can tell me what is she doing? We are talking about grandmother, uh, Jima. The grandmother, the one which I like to draw a circle around her, around her. She is knitting, uh, busy, okay, but <laughs> busy soof, uh, yeah. Uh, um, let's get to that. She knits wool, excellent. So we can say knits wool. Then we are talking about just the grandmother now. We are talking about the grandmother. So, um, okay, great. هلا يعني هاي الاكتيفيتي كلها نحن ممكن نسميها نتينج يعني رايت اوكي نتينج نتينج سو هاي الاكتيفيتي اللي عم تقوم فيها الجراند فاذر نتينج وول فور اكزامبل سو شي از سيتينج اون هير كا شي از سيتينج اون ذا كا نتينج وول فور اكزامبل Okay, so but let's go to uh, this man. Maybe this is the father. This is the father. Now, what is he doing? What is he doing? The father. Yes, yeah, so he is teaching his kids. Okay, uh, not watching TV. We don't have a TV here, actually. Yes, uh, that a father reads like a story to his children. Ophir and all he is reading because, because we are describing an action happening now. So we can say that the father is reading a story to his children. Okay, it's better to use the continuous reading a story. Yes, Abdul Hamid, sorry. We don't have a TV, sorry. That's why we say reading a story. Yes, excellent. So he is reading um, a story, telling a story to his children. Now, if you look at the mother, here, this is the mother. Now, what do you think is she do? She, she is doing. What do you think she is doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, she. Yes, Gina. She is carrying a baby. Uh huh. Okay. So she is carrying. Um, yeah. Maybe exactly. So she is carrying a baby. Uh, what else? Uh, the mother is making her baby quiet. Let you know, Jane play with the baby. And we can say she is looking after the baby. She is looking after the baby or taking care of the baby. Okay, so she is taking care of the baby and or looking after the baby. She is carrying the baby. So we can say she is uh, looking after him or taking care of him. Great. Um, if we go to this man now, uh, this man, uh, maybe this is the uncle, or uh, yeah, maybe this is the uncle now. What is he doing? Yes, any suggestions? He is looking for a book. Excellent, Jima. Uh, he is looking for a book. What else? Uh, other answers. He is looking for a book or what? Choosing a, a book to read. Yes, uh, Huda. Excellent. Uh, so choosing a book. Yes, so then he is trying to find a book that he likes. Excellent, uh, Lujain. So great answers. This is what we have. Uh, 
Yeah, so he is uh, searching, looking for a book. A uh, great guy. So this is what we have. Now if we go, uh, uh, the grandfather, this is the grandfather now. What is he doing, the grandfather? Yes, sir, he is reading a magazine. Okay, reading a newspaper. Lujain and Gina is reading. And I'm actually saying all reading in a newspaper. Just to say he is reading a newspaper. Yes, uh, great. And yes, Shams, he, he reads the news from the newspaper. Great. So I'm, I mean, I've done the study with continuous Shams. So the only he is reading the news uh, from the newspaper. Great. Excellent. So uh, these are good answers, uh, okay, and a good description of this family. So a family sitting together in the living room and each one doing uh, his job, doing a different job. Okay, guys, now if we go to picture number three, what do we have here in picture number three, guys? Uh, where and when does this scene take place and what? Okay, so they are watching TV, Gima. Not an old on the TV. No, just they are watching TV. Okay, yes, a family watching TV. Good Lujain, yes, Abdul Hamid. Uh, great. Of course, here we have a family. We have a dog. Uh, we have some children. Okay. Uh, yes, we don't say they say they see TV. Okay, we say they watch TV, not see TV. They watch TV uh, in the house, and yeah. Okay, uh, so maybe in the evening, uh, they are in the evening. Okay, in the evening watching TV. But if you um, go to picture number four. What do we have here in picture number four? Yes, uh, having dinner. Yes, they are having dinner. They are eating food, having dinner. A mom and her kids and her child, maybe, or her kids uh, having lunch or eating food. Good to Jain Huda and um, yeah, guys, Abdul Hamid. Okay, so they are eating. Maybe this is a lunch, or maybe this is dinner. We don't know. It's not. Um, it's not clear whether it's not lunch or dinner. But do you know what what do we call these uh, these tools uh, for eating? So maybe they are Japanese or Chinese people. Uh, Japanese or Chinese. So what do we call these two uh, tools? Uh, which are used, I mean, uh, for eating in uh, in Japan or China, it's not sushi, sushi. Uh, we don't call them, no, no, it's not like this. Actually, we call them chopsticks. We call them chopsticks, chopsticks, okay? So these are used in Japan and China. Chopsticks, we use them to eat rice, for example, and other kinds of food. Chopsticks. Yeah, great guys. Okay, so this is a good description of the four photos we have here. Now, if we go to the second question, yeah, and uh, how are these Scenes similar to situations in your family or community, or how they are different, or how are they different? Sorry. So, do you think that the the scenes in front of you, the pictures in in front of you, um, are similar to to um, similar to situations in our families or community, or different? Are they the same? Do we have the same things in our families, or no? We have different things. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't okay. We use we have picture number two and three here, but don't we have uh, picture number one? I mean, is it? 
Don't we have the same thing here in Syria? For example, if they are married people, maybe, uh, don't they kiss each other, for example? Yes, so I think this is normal. I mean, for picture number one, two, and three, this is normal. I mean, we have such a thing here. It's similar uh, to our families and communities. But maybe for picture number four, um, of course, we have dinner and lunch, but we don't use chopsticks to eat. Maybe that, that's like in Japan or China. So we don't use chopsticks in Syria. So it's different. Okay, the, uh, the, the, the C3, yeah, the C3, we're not going to have to read it ever again. We're not going to have to read it ever again. من chopsticks يعني قلت لهم انه هدول chopsticks بس في الاخير قلنا انه كمان نحن حنا نفس الشيء بس لا هو المفروض نحن we don't use chopsticks so um, we don't have this habit of uh, using chopsticks to eat okay yeah so that's that's the point okay so if you go to number three guys now how do you think how do you think family life is changing how might it change in the future? How do you think family life is changing? And how might it change in the future? Now, now if, I, I'll ask you a question, guys. Um, if you think about family life, if you think about family life now and then, what's the differences? You know, when I say now, it means at the present time. When I say then, it means in the past. So talking about family life now and then, we have some differences and similarities. Now, what do you think? How how life has changed? Has changed? I mean, from the past till now. How do you think? In what ways it has changed? That we are talking about family life now and then. Okay, well, I know TV. Um, yes, Lujain. Three, maybe the TV is changed in mobile and iPad. Oh, I guess. So nowadays you need to use mobile and iPhones more than watching TV. Yes, to that. Now everyone is busy with uh, their phones, exactly. Uh, yes, Shem, um, kids will grow up. ما فهمت عليك يا شمس كيف يعني كيف في الجو اب يعني كانوا من قبل جو اب وهلا نو سو ذس هابنز لايك اول ذا تايم كيف جو اب يس جايين اوكي لينا نو ديسكس بتوين بتوين وات اه يس جو اب هلا هو انه بين بعض هم يعني ببيتهم يعني بدهم يطلعوا من البيت مثلا ممكن اذا حدا له براء بهالقصص يعني يعمل هيك ف يعني وي ار توكينج ابوت ماريد بيبل اوكي وي ار توكينج ابوت ماريد بيبل سو وي دونت وي دونت يعني وي دونت نو اف ذي كان دو ذيس اند ذي كان دو ويزاوت ات اي مين اتس ذير اون لايف سو سم بيبل دو ذيس وي دونت نو يا but not in the street. I mean, we don't have such a thing in the street, okay? Like in, in Europe, for example, or in America, they do it in the street. But, um, okay, so, um, yeah, guys, so in the past, I think, like, um, in the past, like, uh, people used to, to set together, the family, I mean, I'm talking about the family, um, the family members used to eat together. But nowadays, I mean, each one has his own life. Uh, you can notice that now, now, nowadays, I mean, family members rarely meet uh, when having lunch or dinner. Not all the family members um, are there when, when we have lunch or dinner. So some some uh, some family members are, uh, come come home or arrive home at late. Okay, they arrive at home late, so they they have, for example, dinner alone. 
not with the family, not with their parents. Um, um, so when, when nowadays family family members when they have when they have lunch, okay, you you will not find all the family members there. So you can find maybe the parents or one of the children, but the other children will be um, outside house, outside the home. Yes, exactly, uh, Lucien. They will not be at the, at the same place. Uh, yes, sorry, they, they might be at work. So for, for people who, who uh, for example, um, work uh, long hours, they have uh, long hours of work, they will not arrive at home early. So they will have dinner, for example, or lunch alone, lonely, without their parents. So life is, has changed, of course. We can say that life has changed. Okay, so guys, this is an introduction, description of the text. The text, we're going to maybe try to discuss some of the points we mentioned here. So let's go to the question. Now, if, if you look at the questions here, Let's say we have about six uh, questions. They said, as usual, guys, we need to answer these questions. Of course, from um, um, we need like to give opinions, our opinions, and then the reading selection will answer them. So these uh, these questions are answered in the reading text. But before we read the text, let's just try to give our opinions, and then we compare our ideas with the text. Okay, so as usual, this is what we do usually. So look at question number one. What's the difference between extended family and the nuclear family? What's the difference? Do you know? Yeah, guys, the difference between have you heard have you heard of this? these two expressions, the extended family and the nuclear family. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the difference between extended family and the nuclear family. And extended family means, uh, or this is when we, when we talk about uh, the family, when we talk about the parents, children, Cousins, aunts, uncles, etc. So, extended family means not only the parents and children, but also it, it also includes um, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents. That's why it's called extended family, because it includes all the, the family members, all of them, not just the parents, not 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 just like father and mother and children, no, yes, and also relatives like cousins, uncles, aunts, grandparents, etc. So this is the extended family. But uh, a nuclear family, a nuclear family, this is, of course, it's not like this. extended family. family tree. اوكي هذيك بنسميها انه شجرة العيلة فبتكون طبعا بتتضمن كثير شغلات يعني from the part اوكي فبنسميها نحن family tree هي بنسميها شجرة العيلة واكيد يعني بيكون بقى من من اصل هذيك بتروح اوكي لا طولي بالك فاطمة مو لهالدرجة طولي بالكم مو من المعروف اصلا، الاكستندد فاميلي هي النورمال فاميلي، يعني كل حدا منا كل حدا من بيناتنا عنده اكستندد فاميلي، يعني قلت لكم الاكستندد فاميلي هي مو بس هي البارنتس والتشيلدرن، لا هي بتتضمن كمان الانكلز، انت، جراند بارنتس، كازنز، اول اوف ذيم، لهيك هي اكستندد يعني الاكستندد هي موسعه يعني مثل العائله الموسعه اكستندد فاميلي. أما لما عم نجي على الـ nuclear family، nuclear family includes only parents and children. 
parents and children. So this is when we talk about the family as a, a unit in the society. So we are talking about parents and children just. Okay, uh, we don't include here, uh, let's say, uh, uh, cousins, aunts, or uncles. So this is the difference between extended family, yeah, and nuclear family. So again, extended family, not just parents or children, but also uh, aunts, uncles, etc. Nuclear family means like parents and children just only. So it's smaller than the extended family. Okay, now if we go to uh, question number two, what are some kinds of families in the world today? So we are talking about kinds of families. What are some kinds of families? Do we, yes, we have some kinds of families. Uh, this is actually uh, similar to the previous question. Um, it means like we have extended family, uh, we have a nuclear family, and we have other kinds of families. Yeah, question number two. So here, kinds, we are talking about kinds of families, like, like question number, number one. We have extended family, this is a kind of family. We have a nuclear family, this is another kind. And we have other kinds, we are going to, to learn them in the text. So we have something called a cleansed family, a single parent family. Okay? A single parent, a single parent family. A single parent family, a family. لا يعني الثاني مثلا بيكون فيها بس الأب مع الأولاد أو الأم مع الأولاد فبيكون مثلا ممكن يكونوا منفصلين أو شيء فالمهم إنه بس بيكون شخص واحد مع هذا لهيك منسميه single parent يعني only one mother or just a father either a father or a mother لا لهيك منسميه single parent يعني فهذول يعتبرون أنواع من العائلات رح نتعرف عليهم بالنص طيب وفي عندنا مثلا ال traditional family traditional family we're gonna see that okay go to question question number three uh, why and how did the structure of the family change in the 20th century why and how did the structure of the family change هلا هون شو نقصد فيه إنه كيف تغير ال structure of the family change uh, in the 20th uh, century it could be like um, you know guys like in the past uh, yeah in the past like people used um, to have like um, a lot of children okay these people used to have a, a big number of children but nowadays I mean people um, like usually have a, a few, uh, like few children, let's say, okay, like about uh, one, two, three, or four maximum. They don't have like that big number of children, like uh, 10 or 20, so in the past people used to, 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 to have like 20 children, 30 children, yeah, but nowadays this is, yeah, of course, uh, and this is like, um, this is, has changed because of uh, because of life. Life has changed. Okay, life has changed. So of course the family structure would be changed or will change according to this. Okay. Uh, that's the point. So if you go to uh, four, how were the 1930s and 40s? difficult here to most families. Hala uh, Taban Hone, maybe they are talking about uh, uh, the United States, Muslim Muna Bihpal Wilayat and Mustahide, uh the thirties and forties were difficult here to them. Maybe because the, the yes, because of the war, okay, because of uh, <coughs> sorry, because of the war, 
uh, yes, yes, exactly. With that, it's like a period of war. That's why, of course, it's difficult. It's the same here when when uh, when it happened, like, and when it started, like, in Syria uh, during the last uh, during the last decades, the ten years. It was difficult for all families because you know we have a shortage. You know, shortage. Uh, Shortage of all the necessary things. A shortage of all the necessary things during the war. Of course, it would be difficult. Now, if you go, uh, yeah, if you go to find how the people's ideas about marriage, we are talking about ideas about marriage and family change after uh, World War II. We are talking about the World War II. How, how ideas about marriage changed? What do you think? After, uh, after the war, uh, the ideas about marriage changed. So maybe, um, yeah, I told you, I mean, uh, you know, in the past, uh, <laughs> yeah. هلا هذول يعني نحن عم نعطي رأينا عنهم، اوكي؟ بالناس رح يجاوبونا عن هذا الشيء بس هذول يعتبروا يعني انه اسئلة نحن بدنا نعطي رأينا، نعرف إذا في عندنا فكرة عنهم أو نجرب عنهم مثلا. أم فـ yes it's a normal thing، يعني حتى لو ما عرفنا إجاباتهم ما بيأثر لأنه هلا رح نتعرف على الإجابات بالنص، بس هون نحن عم نعمل مثل مقدمة، اوكي؟ لحتى قبل ما نقرأ النص نعرف عن شو رح نقرأ نحن. فالنص هلا رح يجاوبنا عن هالاسئله اللي عم عم نحلها اوكي اللي عم نتناقش فيها. فهلا ممكن يس ذي ار وركينج ا لوت تو كلينز اول ان فاكتوري ستار اوكي سوري وي ار توكينج اباوت ذي ايدياز اوف مارج هلا ممكن ان ذا باست لايك ذا وومن The woman um, used to stay at home, and um, the husband, like, um, uh, worked outside. Used to work outside. That wasn't the past. But maybe nowadays, both of them, both parents, uh, work outside, outside the house. Okay, so the mother has a job, the father has a job, but in the past, maybe a uh, uh, woman. Uh, weren't allowed to have a job. They ha they had to stay at home and look after children. Okay, so um, ideas or uh, ideas about marriage have changed, and I told you because life has changed. Yes, Fatima. Exactly. Uh, we have like uh, the we call it like the divorce rate. I write it, the uh, divorce rate, the divorce rate uh, increased, let's say. Okay, so if we go to six, what are the most common family forms around the world today? I'll, um, this is again similar, and when I talk about the, the, the common family forms, هذا السؤال مش عن السؤال الثاني اللي عم نحكي فيه عن kinds of family مثل ما قلنا انه في عندي single parent family, blended family, extended family, nuclear family, traditional families, etc. Okay, anyway, uh, we're going to answer these questions when we read the text. So don't worry about this now. It's just uh, an introduction. Yeah, exactly, Rama. But now what is important to you is uh, here. Because uh, we're going to encounter this, we're going to come across these uh, words in the text, so it's better to have an idea about them. And as usual, guys, we have nouns, we have adjectives, we have verbs and phrases. Now, uh, let's um, look at the nouns and uh, try try to learn the, the meanings and definitions of these words. Now, if you look at the first one, the millennium, millennium, 
the millennium. Okay, what do you mean by millennium? Millennium. Yeah. Any idea about that? What do, what do you mean by millennium? It's like uh, yes, a suggestion. It's um, it's like a period. No, not like this, Fabi. It's a period of one thousand years. So millennium means one thousand uh, years. And I have one thousand years. We call them millennium. So the millennium. This is when you finish. When 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 one thousand years ends. And um, another 1,000 years began. Okay? So, this is the millennium. 1,000 years. So, if I can only 100 years, should I tell me? 100 years. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. So, this is about 1,000 years. So, 100 years, the family is a century. Century. So century, 100 years. Exactly, Rama. So 100 uh, years. Yeah. So if, if, if I have like 10 years, what do we call it? 10 years. If I have 10 years, yes, excellent. No, so we call it decade. Excellent. Okay. So how do I mean? I need to know. I need to know if I can be 1,000 years, but I can be millennium, 100 years, century, 10 years, decade, decade. Okay. Good. Now when? Yes, of course, Gina. Yeah. Now when it comes to cousins, cousins. Cousins, this is of course, this is um, uh, one of the family members. Um, it could be like um, a child, the child of your uncle or aunt. Yes, Abdul Hamid, look at the girls in it. Yani, the cousins, I can say about them, they are the son of 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 the son. In Arabic, يعني relationship في إلى مسمى يعني ابن العم ابن الخال كل واحد شيء مختلف بنت العم أو بنت الخال يعني في إلى أسماء مختلفة أما بالإنجليش لكل هذول بيستخدموا هنا كلمة cousin so cousin هي بتدمي على ابن العم وبنفس الوقت بتدمي على ابن الخال أو بنت العم أو بنت الخال طبعا كيف بدي أحدد أنا هذا الشيء حتى بالcontext السياق it depends so, we will be able to use this term. Okay? So, we are in the Arab from the Arab. We are from all the relationships with this term. We are from all the relationships with each other. Cousins for all these relationships. Family relationships. So, if you go to relatives, if you go to relatives, of course, this this is I mean your relatives, uh, uh, the family members. And when you are talking about your aunt, uh, uncle, cousin, these are called relatives. Your relationship with them is called relatives. Yeah, I mean they are relatives to you. They are related to you by blood or marriage. Tamam? Yani أي حدا related to you by blood or marriage هذا من سمي relatives. قريب. أما أن يكونوا مرتبطين بالدم أو بالزواج relative. طيب partnership. This is from the noun partner. So partnership. This is when you have, of course, a partner. Partnership is a general word, Lujain. هلا شريك نحن من من أول عنه partner. شريك partner. بس أنا لما بدي أحكي عن الشراكة. We say partnership. So, for example, if you said um, you did a job uh, with um, a partnership, okay, it means like you have a, a partner 
okay? You have like a partner or you, you do this with a partner. So we say like to, to go into partnership or you did like something in partnership with um, a person. In partnership with a person, it means, yeah, he, he was your uh, partner. Couples, you know couples, uh, here we are, when we are talking about like uh, two people or two things or a woman and a man, a husband and a wife, so couples. مو بالضروري ان يكونوا متزوجين اوكي هلا اذا اثنين مثلا بيحبوا بعض ممكن نقول عنهم couples and if they are married also we can call them couples because they are two you know thousands and millions thousand millions we have divorces now divorces this is when you uh, end up your relationship when you break up Okay, when you end your relationship, divorce, war, and widows. Allah, yes, uh, widows, Shumas and widows, this is the woman whose husband has died. Okay, no, Mul EX, Mul X, Abdul Hamid. The widow here, the woman whose husband has died, Yani al Armani. Okay, you need nothing, you the man, or Salah, or she. Okay, so I am looking at the widow, he is a woman whose husband has died. And she she hasn't married. She hasn't been married. Hasn't been married to it. Okay, so Mazda was his father, for the little father. It's a mere widow. But uh, history, and we have certainty. So on certainty, it means like you are sure 100%. But let's come to adjectives. Now, adjectives, we have biological, biological, and this is from biology. You know, biology, this is the, uh, the science uh, of and study of living things. The science and study of living things, we call it biology. And the adjective is biological. Then we have adopted. Now here, adopted, this is again uh, um, an adjective, adopted. Uh, when you have a child, uh, when you raise a child, when you raise a child who is not uh, your um, legal child, okay? You get a child, for example, and try to raise him, try to, to raise them, okay? And you are not uh, their parents, original parents. So we call it adopted child. And it's different mutabanna. You get it, but you are not your uh, their um, original parents or legal parents. Uh, divorce, of course, this is again an adjective. Divorce, widows. That's my only so widows and divorce. But only I'm talking about adjectives. Uh, perfect, uh, childless. What does it mean, childless? Having no children. Childless means having no children. Uh, a childless couple, no man has a zaujain, no man don't land. Childless couple. Okay, childless couple. Having no children. Uh, we have a traditional, traditional, uh, new traditional. Now let's come to verbs. We have consist of, consist of uh, several items, return, come back, rise uh, is the opposite of decline. So these are opposites. Rise, go up, and decline, go down. And we have faith. طبعا faith أنا ما بقصد فيها الوجه لأنه أنا هون عم بحكي عن الفيرس الأفعال. So أنا ممكن أقول مثلا to face a challenge. To face a challenge. For example. To overcome a challenge. Right. Support. It's like help. Take in. هلا take in means to um, absorb. 
to upload. But no, not like this, Gina. It's not like this. When I say to face a challenge, it means like uh, this, this is face like I told you, it's a verb. So to face a challenge, um, <coughs> sorry, to um, you have to deal with this challenge. To face a challenge, to deal with the challenge. Okay, this is the meaning. Yeah, exactly, Fatima. And um, as you said, um, uh, take in means to observe something and adopt. Someone adopt. Listen, man, man, this is uh, the verb of this adjective, adopted, adopt. Now here we have some phrases. Uh, we have a social institution. A social institution. Okay? And I don't know about social institution, but that whole institution is about the family, um, or in social life. ما أقول مثلاً أنا political institution إذا أنا صار مثلاً بغير شغلة political institution أو uh, uh, teaching and learning institution لا it's like a social institution institution it's like a center uh, a common ancestor common ancestor you know ancestor what does it mean this is some someone from the past like uh, all of you have ancestors, right? All of you have ancestors. Someone from the past who lived like um, a long time ago. So uh, that's the point. And we have the extended family, nuclear family, and we have foster family. Hello, foster family. هي مثل إنه adopted family يعني هي إلى علاقة بال adopted family نفس المعنى بس شو الفرق بيناتهم إنه ال adopt لما نحن الطفل مثلا نتبنى إذا صار الطفل نزل على اسم العيلة يعني أخذ نفس الكلمة تبعتهم هون نستخدم كلمة adopt يعني خلص صاروا هاي العيلة هي عائلته الأساسية هي الحقيقية تقريبا لعلم أوكي أما الفوست فاميلي الفوست فاميلي هن كمان بيتبنوا طفل مثلا أو ولد بس يعني بيخلوه يعيش معهم بس ما بيصير إنه هو يعني ما بيصيروا هن العائلة الحقيقية له أو ما بينزل على اسمهم مثلا نفس الكلمة أو شيء so they are not their legal parents okay this is the first of first family so um, they take a child and they raise this child, they allow allow them, for example, um, to live inside their house, but they are not their legal families. That, that's the difference between them. And we have heads of household. And I come on, I'm old head head of the household. It means this is the boss of the of the house. It's like uh, the father. Okay, the one who is responsible for this family, the one who is responsible for this house, so Mr. Me, head of the household, head of household. Uh, the life, it means uh, forever. The life means forever. On their own, by themselves, doing this to themselves. Um, okay. And, um, and the last one, loosely related. Loosely uh, related. What does it mean? Yani they are related, but not in a in a tight way, not in a firm way. It's loosely. Okay, so that's um, that's the point. Any questions about the meanings of these words? Right, so uh, so simple words, uh, very simple. But come on, can't see the images either. Let me know the name. Yeah. So, هلا إحنا ليش عملنا هيك؟ لأنه هلا رح نشوف the reading text. رح نشوف هالكلمات موجودة. ونحن تقريبا يعني درسنا ست أربع مرات بهالطريقة. يعني عرفنا 
المبتدات اللي راح تعدي علينا حتى ما نشوف صعوبة فيهم مجاوبنا عن هدول الأسئلة حتى ناخذ فكرة عن النص عن شو راح يحكي لأنه هلا النص راح يجاوب عن هدول الأسئلة. سو so, تقريبا ثلاث أرباع النص درس، فبدنا بس نشوف إجابات حتى نثبت أفكارنا and I'll give you some time to read. Oh my God! But the reading, the reading, uh, the reading, a short history of the changing family. So it means they are talking about the family. And how it is changed. It, so it means it's not the same now and then. It's not the same. It's changed. The, a, a short history of the changing family. Okay, I'll give you some time, guys, uh, to read A and B. But before that, just tell me how many paragraphs we have for this one. A, B, C. How many paragraphs we have for this reading material? Yes. That's right, guys. Exactly, because we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it means we have. I told you you have to look at the numbers next to each paragraph. And uh, there are seven. Okay, one. And uh, you need to read it. And when you finish, tell me. When you finish, raise your hand so that um, I let you. I let you read. Okay.
Okay, guys. So we finished reading the first one. Um, yeah. So who who would like to read the first paragraph? Paragraph A. Who would like to read? Raise your hand, and I'm giving the mic uh, to read the first paragraph. Yeah. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, Huda, I'll give you the mic. Read just the first paragraph and then I'll explain it. Um, are you reading? Uh, Huda, we can't hear you. No, uh, we can't hear you. Maybe you need to check uh, your mic microphone. Uh, check it, please, because we can't hear. Yeah. So, um, anyone else who would like to read? Because maybe there is a problem with who does mic. Uh, yes, now. Now, I want you to read now. But now, I'm not going to read now. 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 I'm not going Lusain, Yusuf, Sidra, Rawa, Rama, Tariq, Shan, Abdul Hamid, yeah, by name, Jude, Noor, G, Matizan, what do you think? ما ما بعرف ما أنا فاتح لك يا بس ما عم يمشي الحال طب فيك تجربي مثلا حدا من باقي الشباب الطلابين رح يقرأ شو بكون عاد اليوم خجلانين يعني مثلا ولا شو تعبانين يا جاهز يلا ضيعون لو وقت نعم يلا أنا ما ما عم أشيل الصبح ما بضل في مشكلة ما بضل الصبح أوكي So what what's the problem? هلا صاروا بقى كلنا عم بيطلعوا بالسقف ما حدا عم بحكي مع حالي صرت هلا لما صاروا وقت القراءة. يا هلا جيما ما بقى يطلع له صوت ابدا ابدا اختفت ما موجودة معنا جيما بالصف. اوكي. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go اوكي طبعا انا رح احاول معناتها اقرا وبنتي ل ثانك يو بس انا مش عايزكم يعني مشان انه يعني تتدربوا على القراءه او صحح لكم ثانك يو روعه طيب رح احاول انا اقرا واشرح بركي رح لا بعد ما اخلص بيصير عندكم شيء تطورات جديده بتغير رايكم مثلا I read, um, no problem, okay. Um, so if you look at the first paragraph, guys, so I told you the um, a short history of the changing family. So the first, the first um, uh, paragraph is always an introduction. 
Okay, so let me read the first one. Like the community, the family is a social institution. So here uh, they are comparing the community uh, with, the, with the family. So the family is a community. Okay, um, that's the point. Um, yes, for now. Yes, okay, the shallow mount is long in here, Yanni. I can do that, but now, uh, mount small in here. Yeah, that's the point. But, uh, so, like the community, the family is a social institution. And here, I'm the Uluna, and the family is a little community. And you know, we have a community, and the family is also a community that is a smaller, a smaller social institution. Now, long ago, in the past, human beings lived in loosely related groups. What does that mean? Like, each group had a common ancestor. Ancestor means, looking between brackets, the family member from the distant past. This is the meaning of ancestor. That was in the past. Okay? So each group had a common ancestor. Yani in the past, all of them were connected to ancestor. Um, okay, maybe because uh, the number of people wasn't that like big. But for over a millennium, or millennium, and here they explain this, a thousand years, there have been two main types of families in the world. So main, two main types of families. We have the extended family, or the extended form, and the nuclear form. I'll explain this. And now here they will explain that. They said the extended family may include grandparents, parents, and the children. And sometimes we have aunts, uncles, and cousins. You see? All of them. That's why it's called the extended family. In other words, we did in Tabuli Hone in other words through Manata, or another number of Sahadan had a circuit in other words, Manata and a bit the Ishrah, Jumna Sab Hamaka and Tawab, have the Urja Shahon, in other words. So, in other words, relate, uh, relatives living in the same house or close together on the same street or in the same area. That was the uh, extended family. In contrast, in contrast, because they are comparing extended family uh, with nuclear family. So in contrast, uh, the nuclear family consists of only parents and their biological or adopted children. So here we are talking about just parents and children. Of course, the children could be biological, the real, the real ones, uh, or adopted, taken from another family. Uh, okay, taken from another family. So, uh, this is the point. Now, um, if we go to, because of industrialization in the 19th century, the nuclear family became the most common family structure. So the most common family structure is, is the nuclear family. Why? Because here we are talking about parents and children. We are not talking about aunts, uncles, etc. So this is the difference between extended family and nuclear family. Now if we come to, come to be, Today, there are many different kinds of families around the globe. And this is, guys, uh, the, the topic of this paragraph. This is the topic of this paragraph. Here we are talking about the different kinds of families. And I told you the topic is, a, is the first sentence in the paragraph. So it means the whole paragraph now will talk about families, the kinds of families. 
Okay, Luke, would you like to read? Okay, I don't see him. Uh, today there are many different kinds of families around the globe. Some people live in traditional families, that is to say, a stay-at-home mother, a working father, and their own biological children. Others live in two basic families, that is, four parents work outside the home. There are many single parent families in other worlds, only a mother or a father lives with the children. Still others, uh, still others have uh, adopted or foster families, i.e. adults uh, take care of children, not biologically, but birth or blended families. In other words, divorce. Or the wives, men and women marry again and live with the children. And there is a previous area. Divorce or widowed. Divorce or widowed. Okay. Or area marriages. There are also same sex. Parentship with or without children, ch childless marriage, unmarried life and relationships, and so on. Yeah, excellent, Susan. Thank you very much um, for this nice uh, try and this nice uh, conversation uh, reading um, you have. Okay, so let's. Um, uh, try to explain the point uh, Lujain has said. So look guys, so here we said today there are many different kinds of families. As I told you, so they are talking about the kinds of families. Now, some people live in traditional families. This is the first kind. Traditional families. That's to say, دائما كمان بدي اياكم تتعلموا هذا التركيب انا لما بقول ذات تو ساي معناها كمان بدي اشرح شيء سابق يلي هو الترديشنال فاميلي يعني انا شو بقصد بالترديشنال فاميلي ذات تو ساي ستي ات هوم ماذر وركينج فاذر اند ذير اون بايولوجيكال تشيلدرن ذس از وات وي مين باي ترديشنال فاميلي so a traditional family means we have a stay-at-home mother. So she she doesn't work. She just I mean stays stays at home and takes care of the children. A, a working father and their own biological children, their own children. I mean real children, not adopted or not adopted. Others live in two paycheck. Families. So two paycheck families, this is uh, kind number two. What does it mean? Look, they said that is. Come on, with the accountant, you will know. And I think you that is, or that to say, to explain a previous uh, comment or phrase. What does it mean, two paycheck families? Both parents work outside the home. Both parents, okay? Uh, today, if you if you look at today's uh, family uh, nowadays, I mean uh, families, both parents work outside the home. So the mother works and the father works outside the home. Why? Because life is so expensive, maybe. And another kind, uh, we have a single parent families. This is number three. Single parent families. In other words, what does it mean? It means only a mother or a father lives with the children. 
So maybe they are uh, separated, they are divorced, so either a father or a mother lives with the children. So we call it a single parent family. Now we have other kinds, look. We have adoptive or foster families. كمان هون I E معناتها إنه بدي تشرح لي الجملة السابقة. فأنا صار عندي أكثر من عبارة، صار في عندي that to say, that is, in other words, and I E هذول كلهم نستخدمهم لحتى نشرح شيء سابق. وكثير اللي بيفيدوكم بكتابة المواضيع لما تكتبوا عن بموضوع وأنتوا عم تعدلوا شغلات أو عم عم تقارنوا شغلات. أو عم تكتبوا شيء ما له واضح بتجدكم تفسروه بعبارات أخرى. So we should also want to be adoptive or foster families. Adults take care of children not biologically theirs. Or, so this is we have uh, four. Uh, or we have blended families. This is five. Blended families. What does it mean, blended families? In other words, divorced or widowed men and women marry again and live with the children from their own, from their previous or earlier marriages. You got the point? So I don't understand you plan this family. And you plan this family here, like, for example, for example, one person, for example, or they have children, for example, they have children, 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 they have أولاد نفسهم، فهذول بنسميهم خليصي وهيك بنسميهم بلندد فاميليز تمام؟ فا ذات ذا بوينت مو بس يعني بالنسبة للبنت كمان للشاب يعني لما بيكون مثلا بيصنف مثلا وبيكون عنده أولاد بيرجع بيتجوز مرة ثانية وبيعيشوا يعني مرته مثلا الجديدة بتعيش مع أولاده هن يعني من الأيرلي مارج من الفيرست مارج فبنسميها هذول بلندد فاميليز Okay. So uh, there are also uh, same-sex partnerships, uh, with or without children, um, childless marriages, as I said, they have no children, and we have unmarried living relationships, and so on. So we have a lot of these families. So we have a lot of unmarried living relationships. يعني هدول ال relationships اللي مثلا بيعيشوا مع بعض وما بيكونوا متزوجين بنسميهم unmarried living relationships. So we don't have such a thing. Um, we don't have sex, uh, we don't have same sex relationships or partnerships again. Uh, but we have childless marriages etc. So we have different kinds you see. فمعناتها مو بس عندنا نحن ال traditional family لا في عندنا كثير kinds of families. Okay, now let's go to this paragraph. Now this paragraph, look at the question at the beginning. They said, what caused the structure of the family to change? So again, it means this is the topic of this paragraph. We are talking about the structure of the family and how has it changed. Here they said, in the early 90s, in the United States, the divorce Oh, sorry, the divorce rate, divorce rate, like what do you mean by the divorce rate? The percent of legal endings compared to the number of marriages began to rise. This is in the 90s. And the birth rate began to decline, began just to go down. In other words, couples stayed married for fewer years, and they had fewer children. Women often choose to get an education and take jobs outside the home. الكابلز ما بقى يضلوا مثلا متزوجين لسنوات كثيرة عم بيتزوجوا مثلا عدة سنوات بيصير خلافات فبيتركوا ما بيجيبوا اولاد كثير مثلا او مثلا البنت او المرأة بدها تتمرد خلص بدها تشتغل تكمل تعليمها بدها تشتغل برا بدها تعمل تشيل تترك تحط اوكي سو صار بيصير هالقصص مثلا خلافات فبيعودوا بيتطلعوا مثلا او هيك ف 
uh, that's that's the point. So, فدائما البنات بحبوا يتمردوا وهيك بيعملوا على الاساس مش هاي بس. يا بدي تعمل بدي تعمل شو بيقولوا؟ شو كانت الكلمة؟ يس المساواة يعني المساواة المساواة بين المرأة والرجل. هاي يس طبعا هلا عم امزح مو شرط انه تتمرد بس يعني تحدث على المشاكل. يا يا مو غلط طبعا مو غلط تطلع تتعلم وتشوف و تتفتح اوكي واي نوت يا خليها تتنور ليش ليش اوكي سم بيبل يعني سم مان دونت لايك ات Yes, yeah, some men, uh, yeah, some some men. I mean, don't like it, and they don't like any woman to have their own, um, let's say, um, their own freedom. Um, they just have to. Sh they want just to show them that you are uh, less than than men, and that's why um, you don't you don't have to go and um, get an education or have a job. Uh, so it depends, I mean, from one person to another. So, okay, so let's continue. Decades later, I mean, after like uh, several ten years, uh, the same changes began to happen in other industrialized countries. Today, they are happening in many of the developing nations of the world as well. Yes, of course, this happens in all nations, not just developed or developing. No developing nations like us. Um, هلا عم بيحاولوا يتطوروا يعني مثل البلدان النامية أو البلدان العالم الثالث أو هيك شيء بنسميهم developing nations. البلدان المتطورة بنسميهم developed nations. developed nations. Okay now when it comes to the next paragraph they said the decades of the 1930s and 40s were difficult years in the industrialized world. And this is the topic of this paragraph. Allah راح يقولون إنه ليش كانت هاي الفترة difficult in this difficult for people. Look here, they said many families faced serious financial problems. You know, problems related to money, because the heads of the households lost their jobs. Why lost their jobs? Because they went to war during the World War II. In 1939 to 1945, millions of women, millions of women, had to take care of their homes and their children alone. Why? Because their husbands, okay, went to war. Because so many men were at war. Thousands of these uh, war widows, يعني بما أنه أزواج راحوا للحرب فمنسميهم إنه مثل أرامل الحرب أو هيك شيء. War widows. That to say, يعني women whose husbands were away at war. فهنا عم بيشرحونا كلمة war widows. You see, that to say, يعني شحوها. فإنه قالوا إنه هن women whose house husbands were away at war. فشو صار فيهم هدول؟ إنه they had to go to work outside the home. Most women worked long hours at home jobs. They weren't many. They weren't many perfect families, and this is what happened maybe uh, in Syria also uh, during the war in the last decade, ten years. During the last decade, ten years, okay, uh, most like husbands uh, um, uh, were at war, and here I any mean, woman had to go to work and work long hours, and they had also to take care of their children. So it was difficult, and there was there were, there were like financial problems, etc. So we suffered like the same thing here. Now, the next decade, and if this is after the war, after the war, a period like you see, decade, a period of ten years, um, the situation changed in many places. There were fewer divorces. 
and people married at a younger age and had more children than in the previous generation. So then the Shubaid Hassan was. So men made enough money. Men made enough money because the war ended here. Stop. So made enough money to support the family. So a mother seldom worked outside. Seldom worked outside. Never worked outside the home when her children were small and children began living at home longer. That's like until an older age. Usually after high school or even college. The traditional family was returning. The traditional family was returning in the United States. What is that? We have seen that in the traditional family, that the mother works at home, just she stays at home, and the father works outside. This is the traditional family. Now, in the years between 60s or so, هلا شو بعتقد أنا بال 60s or so يعني 60 وشوي يعني هيك وهيك يعني 60s and 70s to the 60s to the 70s this is what we mean and the end of the 20th century however there were many new changes in the structure of the family around the globe so from the 60s to the 70s the divorce rate رجعت بأختلفت يعني بعد ما كانت يعني the divorce rate مخفضت Okay, the divorce rate increased. So there are many changes on the court. Hasa at all phases, and all changes. Greatly increased, and the birth rate fell by half. The number of single parent families rose. At the same time, the number of couples and the number of couples living together without marriage went up. So man, at the نسبة إنه ال couples اللي عم بيعيشوا مع بعض من دون زواج كمان ارتفعت. ما أنت رجع الوضع يتراجع، okay? That's the point. So معناتها always we have changes. Our conclusion: many people today would like the traditional two-parent family back. ليش؟ لأنه هذا أنسب حل. يعني هذا أنسب حل و. وأنظف حل وأضبط حل، إنه يكون في عنا نحن the traditional family اللي هي مثل ما نحن من وقت ما كنا صغار وخلقنا إنه هاي الفاميلي هيك كانت، إنه the mother stays at home, the father works outside and we have the children. أما هلا صار في كثير تداخلات وكثير تغييرات وصار كثير يعني قصص مثلا ما كانت موجودة عندنا من قبل ومجتمعنا صارت ترجع يعني صارت تنوجد يعني شغلات مو حلوة أبدا. فـ we would like I mean the traditional family to 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 be back. So that's to say uh, they want a man and a woman to marry for life. To marry for life, to marry forever. Okay يعني من قبل ما كنا نتعود ولا أو نسمع كثير إنه في نسبة صلاة أو نسبة um, خلص اوكي خلص انه المان الرجل تزوج مثلا امراه فبيضلنا دائما للابد. So they want a man and a woman to marry for life. They also think the man should support the family and the woman should stay home with the children. This is the traditional family. Yeah. However, very few families now fall into this category. In fact, um, If more women decide to have children on their own, the single parent household may become more typical than the traditional family in many countries. Also, unmarried couples may decide to have more children, or they might take, take and foster children or adopt. And because people are staying single and living longer, often as widows, Uh, there may be more one person household. On the other hand, some people believe similar events happen again and again in history. If it is true, people may go back to the traditional extended or nuclear family of the past. Others, others think the only certainty in history is change. In this the only thing that is in the history is change. Okay, يعني الشغلات اللي كانت مثلاً 
من قبل ممنوعة هلا عم بتصير مباحة مثلا وهلا الشغلات المباحة ممكن بالمستقبل ترجع تصير مثلا ممنوعة اوكي ف يعني always we have changes in history in other words the structure of the family or sorry the structure of the future family could begin to change faster and faster and in more and more ways so um, if you compare now the structure of the family between now and then you will find some differences and if you want now in the future to compare the structure of the family now and in the future of course it will be uh, different and we will have some differences because always we have changes okay guys so this is the quest uh, this is the the reading text for today فهيك بنكون حكينا عن النص وشرحنا طبعا بالنسبه لتمارين النص رح نعمل الدرس القادم بس بتمنى قبل ما نبلش الدرس القادم يعني تحاولوا ترجعوا تقرأوا النص لحالكم انتم مشان يعني تتذكروا الشغلات اللي حكيناها لحتى يعني يصير حل الاسئله اسهل اما اذا ما قرأتوا رح تنسوا ما رح يعني تتذكروا منيح فاسهل لكم ولالي اوكي جايز So we will stop here. Thank you very much for listening and attending. Love you so much, guys, and see you next time. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.